Hello, I'm driver engineer James Graham, and today we're going to talk about the attack hose line load for the Pierce Engine Companies for the Rocket Fire Department. We're going to cover a couple of key elements today, which is the handles, nozzle placement, and also the connections for the uh, for the hose load. We are going to talk about the hose load so that we're able to pull it from the officer side as well as pulling it from the driver side. When we get through talking about how to load the hose, we will show you exactly how to load it, that the connections will work for all engine companies that have the connection above. As you can see, once we have it loaded, you have your two handles. This shows that the hose that for the connection is underneath your rear handle and along the side of your bucket box and connected to the top. Discharge port. This allows you to pull it from both sides. We want to remind you that this is for our engines 2, 4, 8, and 11. Engine 1 is also a Pierce engine company, but their uh, uh, discharge connections are actually below. So they load their holes directly into the hose bed and do not have bucket boxes. So their accordion load will be the same, except for they do not pull the discharge, the, the connection on the side that stays below. First key element that we want to cover is to make sure that our connection to our discharge port for that upper connection is on the inside of the bucket box. We want to lay it out so that it has at least a foot, foot and a half of length beyond the box. And as we lay that out, we then begin to load the bucket box as a normal accordion load with just a couple of key elements that we want to make sure that we have. As you begin to load it on this side of the box, you want to make sure that you put a handle here. And then as you go back, there's another handle on the other end of the bucket box. This gives you the handle to pull from either side of the, the box, from either side of the truck. And then you just load it as a regular accordion load for the first 50 length of holes. As you can see, it just kind of lays in there like our normal accordion load. But here's where we have a couple of differences. Now you must make sure that the nozzle is opposite of the end of the connection to the discharge port. So we want to start with the nozzle connection, the female of the entry three quarter to the opposite end of the female connection to the discharge port. We want the male end, I'm sorry. When you lay, them, lay your mail in, again, you want to have about a foot, foot and a half to two feet of holes laid out beyond the bucky box. And again, it's another accordion load, and on the opposite end of the nozzle, you want to put a handle on that first link. and a handle on the second link above the nozzle. And then it begins the, another regular accordion load. At this point, this is what the load looks like and this is where we have to make an adjustment so that the hose will pull from either side. You want to stop here, grab your connection to the port, and begin to pull it up along the side of your hose to the inside of your hose and lay it over the side of the bucket box. That's so. 
It is all right if it's laying on the ground or that it's uh, extended a little bit more than you'd like. The key is, is that this hose will now pull over the top of it either way because it's above the handle, I mean below the handle. From this point, you just continue to load your inch and three quarter line like an accordion load. And that will allow you to pull this hose from the driver's side or the officer's side of the truck. Once we have got our hose loaded in our bucket box and the nozzle connected to the hose, we want to make sure that we lay it in the box and try to keep the nozzle upwards and away from the inside connection so that when we pull the hose that it does not get caught on our discharge hose. Okay. We want to try to lay it in a void space as much as possible and more to the inside, outside of the bucket box. At this point, we can load it into the truck. Make our connection back and make sure that it's locked in place and make sure that we pull our, dis our discharge port up so that it avoids any kind of hang up from the nozzle or eliminates any of those hang ups when you pull the booster line. From there we just make sure that when we put our net on that we push our handles up so that it's protected. Right now we're going to talk about how or one of the best ways that we have found how to pull our attack line and one of the things that we want to do is that we want to pull the nozzle side first which is towards the front of the truck. We want to pull it, pull it on your shoulder and the fourth guy come by and pull the second handle and just pull it out on the ground. If it happens to be that you're a three man company, that guy, the nozzle guy puts this on his shoulder and as he puts it on his shoulder, he reaches back and grabs the second handle and just throws it out on the ground. And as he walks, it should flake out evenly and then off on the top of the shoulder. At this time, we're going to demonstrate how we would like to have, have it pulled. And this concludes our session on how to load the attack line for the Rockford Fire Department for the Pierce Engine Companies.